corruption allegation, they all say concerning the one them we call we for led we help them by the fight against corruption. But as the allegation they all say, now so government officials them, government offices them, and the anti-corruption commission of all don't team up Tranga one for defend the allegedly corrupt politician or alleged corrupt a government officials them inside we yard. This now a strong way they say they continue in the fight against corruption. So the question now we are they ask why the caretaker of all call we the people now we are for help them in the fight against corruption and why he decide for declare corruption as national threat. So I encourage all Suradinians to join me to fight corruption. This is just the beginning. <laughs> As you might have learned, ending corruption or reducing corruption to the minimum is not just a governance issue. It is actually an existential issue because of the level and scale of corruption in this country. If we do not fight and win the fight against corruption, we are preparing this nation for another, for another problem that will take us down. Corruption is at a level that can destroy this nation. I consider the level of corruption that we have met as a national security issue. Mm. For say, then be only declare corruption as national threat for sake of the opposition or the poor, poor teacher them where forget self them salary them where they cannot approve them na problem na the normal the corruption day as national threats for for say if they call the chief minister in name pan corruption allegation the NPPA the anti corruption commission go come and defend for say if they call the first lady in name pan corruption the anti corruption commission go come out quick and say one percent day where the caretaker in office can use pan any side where they want for use them or for say any time now where corruption come you get certain people them where they come up and say no this no right but look at this other thing not to only defend them now, as you talk about corruption, you will talk about corruption, you will hear the other people and they come out and say, you not fit for talk about corruption. You na me train you. Look for example, somebody they talk about the um, um, African Express, Chernobyl say, and not supposed for talk about corruption because na in train and journalism. And not supposed for talk about corruption because na in even begin for edit the first newspaper where it the work. In no book thing about Chernobyl. Now we come to the issue proper. First of all, you take the issue of the, 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 the whistleblower. Where is your credibility? Give me a question mark. No, it's not. I don't want to pass anybody. And I wish one day, let you attack me. Because this is a man, when he came at this country, when I don't know who said he promotes, I was the first person to employ him as a reporter. I was editor of the Democrat newspaper at the time. Yeah? Now me teacher journalism. I can say that with all boldness, let's challenge him Because when he come, I know it will be the right, and I know the censor will be the put it will be the right. Until if he say in a job. Even the very Africanist thing where he make noise with now, he started off with a newspaper. I was the initial editor of that particular. You know, each other now, for where they say this person corrupts, you for begin they go say, no, I want for look at you first way talk about corruption. Well, if that be the case, the caretaker self not supposed for talk about corruption. Why I say this? Because even the term where people and they talk about the election, where it been come say it won't be caretaker, plenty people been get questioned about in background. Plenty people been talk about plenty million dollars where they say it take from the country in Kofa. But that means say enough for talk about corruption. That means say because it say are affect corruption, therefore say let me go back and check usa you come out. But I think say corruption and corruption no. It no matter who that the person. This corruption fed, it don't get in your strength. Oh. Well, now I know say the talk way um Dr. Denise Bright been talk say the um Arata don't big pass the push na tune. Normally we know say na push na the one after Arata. But we don't see other other funny video them again on social media where the Arata them can threaten the push and the push can run. <laughs> anyway, this na the kind of defense again we are see today. We are here today and we are witness today. Now, Radio Democracy 
as the anti-corruption can purposely in the radio station for can talk about the kind of uh, corruption the way people and they talk about and the strategy where they use for defending kind of corruption business then they you know, this race business of all, the Chinese race, where uh, Alpha Timbo, then be pull an office for, and then they go turn turn people away, they like fufu, and then bring and come back and say, we not get no case submission. Then don't get other different uh, interpretation for that new. Eh, uh, but wait to, for say, Alpha Timbo in case, where then they talk about, now so no money don't end, in fact, it don't done, because if possible, then they investigate for corruption. Then sack him, then be on cam, then get him back in office. It means say, power, pa, that case they done done. Or power, pa, the case for done. Be all, be all, not fake them, they fake we. Be all, be all, they mean just they use Alpha Timbo as sacred cow or as a scapegoat because they rest. Not to Alpha Timbo, no more shibam. The rest, the rest where anti-corruption come out and tell we plain play one say, they don't see the rest. But now, we see say, that rest case they not get any case submission. Anti-corruption get plenty defense for that day. Plenty other case then do, we get for those corruption. Of course, the chief minister and no-go area. The first step where one journalist come and allege say, um, chief minister get for an account where a wire, you know, um, monitor. The anti-corruption commissioner in ZSF9 come and say, no, case not day, we don't find out. We see the anti-corruption commission anytime where it can for the issue of this administration, it can run come out with press release, say no, that they not to. But when it comes to the issue of the last administration, it can say yes, then they call their all kind name. But wait to Tiffman Mapa Stiffman. We begin one video of Tiffman in a um Abacha Street, na Guard Street, and other the other side and day. That thief man where they wear coat and tie there under AC, and that thief man where they na street the finger pocket waiting at the difference. You go and say na the same, not to the same. The thief man where they na office, it did deprive people and forget waiting and suppose forget. It did deprive the whole country for getting better health service. It did deprive the whole country for get things them way for make a go before. That if man a market, that one person the finger pocket, something in yeah, small family. Although that is no 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 good because if man a if man, but the if man a office, a a a a a worst positive man a street, but the if man a office now we celebrate. The government they always they come back if man and boku. But let me listen by anti corruption commission inside ninety eight point one as they may they put on a defense strategy for defend corrupt pol eh, 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 government official them eh, right inside this bill administration where we don't call we say let we all put hand together for help them fix this corruption we don't turn national threat now we country listen them and enjoy how the anti corruption good in defending things them well now the anti corruption commission their responsibility. Of its corruption um, with support from Salon people. Yesterday, when I be the last one, we didn't get um, to the Salon People's Party and the APC Party. We can talk about how they think about the threat against corruption at the country. Well, now the program, the burden video on the ACC, as the APC believes, say that they don't reduce the public confidence in the way we then affect corruption how then they arrest and prosecute opposition people them and not people in governance. Well, we now with all this, make we bring calm the ACC, um, Mr. Kwevaya, this morning, Idea so I'm from the Anti-Corruption Commission, in the Operations Coordinator, um, Emmanuel Kwevaya Amara. Good morning once more and welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Asma and Michael. Good morning and good morning to the people of Sierra Leone. All right, um, we can't talk about what you really care for, but we understand also, say, the commission, they do a tour. We say, according to what you want to say, they take the commission to the people. Updates we are on the work at day. Well, um, Fambul, when I remember, say, we the now commissioner come na, take up office sometime in June of 2018, it been promised the people of Sierra Leone, say, it will be the people's commissioner. In the sense that, the work we they do, we can't go to the people. We we'll not go wait until the people are asking. When he take up office in 2018, of course he go around at the country. Na some big tongue them, the Bo, Kenema, Makeni, you know, and then side and day. So now, after some time, how we don't do we, the commission don't do some work. Where after some period, now don't decide say 
If they go meet the people, then you know, they don't get opportunity. Wait for me. Just two weeks ago, we've been to Kabbalah. And of course, this weekend, the commissioner go to Moyamba, he go to Matu, and he go to Bonds. That now for comments the South and Tour. And of course, then go there with the commissioner, they go, they, they can say they carry the commission go to the people. And they go tell the people about the work with the commission they do. And self, how the work of how corruption will affect them if for any reason they not participate. Women say the fight against corruption are the people's fight. And in all of this work, how is the response from the people? Eh? Of course, the responses are very, very, the feedbacks are very good. The people very appreciative. In fact, there are some people who not ever see an anti corruption commissioner in a forum like we, the commissioner, they do now. But then it's a very pleasant one because they get opportunity first hand to ask questions, raise issues and concerns. And you find out, say, when it comes from the mouth of the commissioner in self self, you know, the people are very, very appreciative. Mr. Amara, I think, say, now because of um, the people's um, um, expectation, we more or less people that believe, say, don't fall according to it and they expect. Where you measure the trend in social media and other public forum, where people and they talk about the anti corruption expectation, they could not decide for use this strategy. Well, you know, in the fight against corruption, you always get forget a roadmap. You talk about people's expectation. Of course, I don't agree with you, Sambula, say people expect people expectation don't fall. No. The expectation of the people as a commission will try to meet them as best as possible and we get to the people all the time. But then for answering your question, we know they, not to rest, this this particular tour not to respond to the social media comments like they say or within a few people they say. This is a planned organized tour. In fact, if we don't get some if we don't if we don't comment if we don't start a long ago, but for the for the corona, you know, um restrictions and the coronavirus. So the answer really is no. This is a planned tour. This is part of the, the, the operations of the commission. This is not part of waiting the commission we don't set down for two. And this is not waiting the commission they do. In spite of, it's part of the commission's roadmap. So, so get to the let we look at recent developments with regards to um, the fight against corruption. Yesterday, like I say, we been get the opposition um, APC party. We can get their own perception on how they think say, the country they face corruption, particularly we can to the office of the ACC. And according to them, they're not impressed at all with um, the way one they handle corruption fets and that one don't reduce public confidence in the fets against corruption. Um, Asma, one man will come and sit on uh, this mic, one mic, and say confidence of the people of Sarali don't reduce. But we all know, say the indices will they get, what do they get as feedback? What do they get as empirical fact, researched fact? Not they speak the same. So, you know, it's 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 not true that the, the anti-corruption commission just they concentrate on one. In fact, now the anti-corruption commission will not get set of people. The compass also it points that they will go. If the compass points any side, if it points forward, will they go forward? If it points sideways, will they go sideways? If it points backwards, so they go backwards. So in the fight against corruption, really we not get we not get person, we not get people. We only they look for we only they look for the one them we don't be named in corruption or we we believe say get questions for answer in relation to corruption. Mm -hmm. So for say the people and confidence reduce no because the anti corruption commission, of course we don't they run a marathon and of the the tip not the insight even and we are not standing we not even relax. One example where they make. Um, the publicity setting I act in make mention of now the issue of the race where the matter involved in uh, ministers of government then go court at the end of the day the ACC say they don't get evidence enough evidence so the matter don't like that no, well, well, so um, what's in that being what you go say about that well of course for say the like where you put them so if not so anybody put them then that not the, not that it was in a misrepresent the fact not to, say the, the not to say the ACC not be get evidence, make we withdraw the matter from court. No. We don't come now, we don't talk and plenty, but let's come again. When the Anti-Corruption Commission, they go to court with matters, we they make an application to the Attorney General and Minister of Justice pursuant to Section 1442 of the Criminal Procedure Act. 
And that one didn't have a lot get trial by judge alone rather than trial by judge and jury. So in essence, in the, in the practice, right through from where the 2008 Act gave anti-corruption commission power for prosecute, now so we don't do one. Because corruption is a new, not a new genre, not a new area even in the criminal law. So for understand that, you get to get some real legal background. For do corruption trials with judge and jury, come on, it's, it's a very difficult one, it's a very challenging one. Because what will the jurors actually understand with every respect to them in the area of corruption? Because this is not like murder. We say the chuck person, where the knife look at blood did he? Yes, look the wound by a knife fact autopsy say the, 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 um, the autopsy report don't show say now that knife nine killed the person, the jurors they retreat and go get them verdict. Corruption, if you like now a victimless offense. Although in the now, in a victimless crime, in the sense that you know get a particular person will go say, Oh, because corruption don't happen in a social ministry, now, now I make this minute don't bend so. But then, waiting we for understand the fact, say, of course it affects everybody. And because of complex, we actually always go out for go to trials by judge alone rather than, than by judge and jury. When we not be granted, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice be refused the application. So the matter was going to be tried by, they, they go, go for try the matter by judge and jury. To that end, the option will be get, rather than go and hit the, 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 the rock, the option will be get as a commission, the column prosecutorial strategy, we begin to actually offer no evidence. In law, when you offer no evidence, not mean to say you not get evidence. You they offer no evidence, forget the effect of the no evidence where they offer that now where then they um where they discharge the matter. When they discharge the matter, you get an opportunity for actually bring that matter come back in a court before the same court. But if you left Sidom, then try the matter, you know, on that kind of wrong footing, trial by judge and jury, say it go hit the, 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 the rocket wall. You know, we as a commissioner will get opportunity again for Brian Kamna court except to go on appeal. Mr. Amara, and that any, was what we did not uh, want. Any justification day, we don't should say where you get judge and jury. Mm -hmm. At that point, if you get any judgment, it can be wrong because they're not technically inclined for corruption. No, well, well, not to judgment can be wrong. That's not the part that we, not to the part now and they will want to go. Let we look at the look, let we look at corruption cases across the globe, across Africa, across the world. There is no way under the world where they try corruption matters by judge and jury. Corruption matters, like I don't say, I don't state them, you know, it's, it's a real new area in the criminal law, fairly new area in the criminal law. So understanding the issues go a long way for actually inform which thing will be the outcome. Jurors oftentimes are laymen, well, laymen in court, because not to lawyers, and they not have anything but the law. So, the so in essence, you realize, say, if corruption matters get tried by judge and jury, it is a risky kind of thing, and we as a commission, no one for begin taking that kind of risk. So the day. commission um, regrets the judgment of that, that particular case. Eh? No, there was no judgment. There has been no judgment. Okay, so Same now we draw the matter. We withdraw the matter and even we, are with review, all, we are reviewing so, the matter. Even with all the it's, evidence they own against yeah, with the guys. No, we withdraw the... Now, maybe waiting we need to understand that. So, you, so the point is the AG, the Attorney General, in action. Now in, we... I'm Ms. James is trying to point out Una as um, a commission, Una satisfied with them, or waiting up the response after that. Well, the fact we, we response now you see in waiting we do so to the matter. The fact of the matter is the attorney general gets right for do waiting we want wait the right, attorney general gets right for do waiting the law permits them for do. It can be in with favor, it can be against we. We will make the application for law get the trial by judge alone. The attorney general Demon fit in your own wisdom say, No, you know, we'll grant you that application, let's we'll get trial by judge and jury. And of course, we, like I say, now it is kitten that one day for go put a whole corruption matter before jurors when they actually get for return a verdict. And in fact, the understanding, the appreciation of the legal issues or even the, the issues generally in the kind of thing that we relate to corruption, so since very frankly, we go, need a legal mind. Since and not only a legal mind, a legal mind will really strong. So now they plan for take them all back? Oh yeah, we are we are reviewing. That matter with the review. Um, it's on the desk, it's on the it's actively on the commissioner's desk, and as a management, we are looking at it, we are reviewing it. I will go remind the ACC about that. Thank you very much. We go guys, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon where they come to you from 98.1 FM. Now the program this morning we get Emmanuel Koivaya Amara from the Anti Corruption Commission this morning. And they can't talk about um the corruption allegation them we done the floats na the country. Now let me come to the recent publications from the Africanist press. We don't see that on the pool um, by segments waiting and believe say 
um, corruption business day inside the one that they see all them publication in publication in the what's in the anti corruption thing about it? Well, on a very frank note, we think, in fact, we appreciate then kind of moves and the way Sierra Leoneans, both within and without, they do. Mm -hmm. Then we should blow in thin and they. Nowhere in the world is the fight against corruption, you know, achieving very great successes without then kind of thing and they. When anything and they happen, they even show say, you know, now there is so much awareness about corruption and people are coming out to speak about it. It just sounds like we, as might be the doing in Black Tuesday thing, you know, you don't get momentum so much that now people will be afraid sometime in the past, will be the shame for talk about rape and sexual offenses. Now they come out and talk about them. No, say they're not being there. But the number who they see the flare now, now because of the kind of awareness. So that's the same thing that's happening in the, in the arena of the, in the fight against corruption. People are actually coming out now to talk about those things that they didn't to, to that 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 you know hinge and touch on corruption. And it is we as a commission, we look at as a very good thing. But one thing on my way as a commission, we need for states and states are very clearly and emphatically that the fact say nobody from no angle no go weaponize the commission. As much as the commission they resist the government in power for actually, of course, in the, in the sense that we will not allow them for interfere, although they, they are not interfering, we will not allow any other person, opposition or government for interfere with the work of the commission or twist the arm of the commission. This don't so, be in any case. Sorry? It don't be in any case. No, 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 not really. You know, well, where you see the kind of publications where they go, whether on a radio, whether on a social media, etc. Intelligent people go in through, say, no, I want, Sambola want to go for asthma. So, you know, the point points at asthma. As my wala go for Sambola, the point points at Sambola. But one thing we very apparent that the fact say the commission, the anti-corruption commission, is a focused entity. It's an autonomous entity. We remain focused and we cannot be distracted. One all that one way where the ACC can get una can get una, um, um, scoop from now from which we call so the media, for example, or write ups. In all of their uh, publication they are we don't come out. Waiting una don't do for um Kamisai, some of the serious allegations they are so with the African is first to do. Oh, yes. Um, now, coming to that point, you realize, say, wherever we get information from, we act, we, wherever we get information from, we act on them. Not to that traditional reactive way now we do investigations. Now, in fact, NIMEC we don't move from the textbook model of fighting corruption, now now practically we defeat corruption. If somebody can see don't like in the last case where the parliamentarians they can't sit on there, make allegations against against themselves and one another, you realize say the anti-corruption commission take that one day up. We don't look at that. In fact, we don't investigate that one thoroughly, and the investigation is at an end. As I speak to you, the report is on the desk of the commissioner for action for next steps. So when will they get this Africanist? When Africanist and um, press they actually raise the issues. For instance, recently them although it came first at the um, um, audit report, but they emphasize the issue relating to the office of the First Lady. The Anti-Corruption Commission, you saw our release. We are looking into that matter and we are investigating, you know, that particular issue. But one thing that now, was... The, that particular issue, then, and why we don't bring mixed feelings um, among public, say, um, because when I released it, say, when they go back 14 years ago. That is why and, I'm here. And then the, the uh, people believe, say, if they say, now in the democracy, for example, then are they for go for go investigate and not for go back go around and say they start 14 years ago. So for example, now with the office of the chief minister also we don't come out. Wait till um, the um, allegation that we don't come out. Wait till we for do we don't start by saying when I go 14 years back for investigate the first lady's office. All right, not take a segment by segment, yeah. Now with the first lady's office, we position that we do go back. When I go remember, before I actually tell them that, when I go remember, we have investigate the Secretary General of the Opposition APC, um, um, Honorable Yansane, Ambassador Yansane. In that investigation, we actually been able to go down the arena, down the line, how diplomatic issues they work, how, you know, in the, in the diplomatic corridors, waiting absence from station mean, and how it will be accepted or not accepted, Waiting now the terminology is waiting a mean etc. We had to go down the line. And that was how we were able to understand the operations in the diplomatic arena. To the extent that when we come out, you realize say the outcome would have been different for your for your answer, for honorable Yansane if we had not taken that step. Now we look at the office of the first lady. Definitely in an investigation, and when it comes to corruption investigation, nobody knows to expert that this country reach the anti-corruption commission. For instance, as I sit here. I've been an investigator from 2005 
and I only became legal officer in 2013. So investigation is our domain. Today I'm not doing investigation, we'll have very seasoned investigators. Now, if you, have to, you have to get a baseline when you actually do investigations. And remember, it's nobody that tells us what to do when it comes to doing what we're doing. Now, it's coming out for the very first time, say the office of the first lady is receiving money. The question you want to ask yourself first, is, it receive, is that office receiving money legally with the law? The law day, if it's receiving money legally or illegally as the case may be, when did that office start receiving money? Remember, although it's an individual that occupies the office at all times, but then the office itself is what we are looking at, of course, with the individual. But now, now responsibility so as a fact, for interpreting the law. As, no, we are not interpreting the law. But now, are, more or less, we are the for the No, no, we are not. We are not. We are not the interpret the law. But one thing, we, now, of course, that the court they interpret the law. You know that one day. Mm -hmm. But what you know, the try for saying that the fact say you cannot do an investigation where you get focus for prosecution, then you actually disregard the law. Because one clever defense counsel, after you don't do all you work, we're just going to cut in, take one objection, and that is the end. So that is why when we actually do our investigations, talking about the law, we are guided by the law. We don't do investigations in a vacuum. So as a matter of fact, we as a commission have decided to go backwards so that we can get a baseline and understand the issues coming forth. So when we come out with an... Of course, we are looking at the office, at the particular person occupying the office. When we come out with an investigations report, the people of Sierra Leone will understand clearly what it is that we have been doing. And remember, like I say, nobody will give a twist to arm for do, waiting, or for do otherwise. That, so, that office that Mr. Amara not done established in, in 14 years' time. Not to that time did that office they start for work. So why, why 14 years cut off period? Now, if you say that office not established in 14 years time, let me ask you a question. When was it that Sierra Leone started having a first lady? I mean, under the new democracy. So, if you raise that kind of issue, say, and that's a conjecture you're making, say that office not don't exist in 14 years time, definitely when we investigate and realize say, that office not don't exist in 14 years time, or if we don't exist, Waiting, you know, um, they happen not, waiting they happen now, not the office, not be they happen then, or waiting they happen then, they happen now. All that one day investigations they prove them. Remember, investigations now for proof or disprove allegations. The scope of investigations that the domain of the commission, how we carry out the investigations, that is in fact that now make we autonomous. To the extent that nobody knows they tell you how nobody knows they tell you which pattern for you to carry out investigation. The, 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 the point where, where many do is now this issue about the one percent. We want to state clearly in our release. In fact, now we come now and begin point and say we want to understand say the law make a provision for one percent regarding government can spend now them budget at twenty percent gam waiting for do it. So it, it's like we begin provide defense for the case. We una no even start for looking Sire. No. You get you get some wrong. We we'll make a right now. Wonderful. The anti corruption commission no they provide defense. The anti anti corruption commission in investigations, they point at those issues where we go for consider where will they actually do investigations. So if sections if section thirty nine for instance they get quoted, it is because it is valid and reasonable and relates to whatever investigations we get for do with money leaving Ministry of Finance out of the budgetary um, um, kind of uh, normal spectrum. So as a matter of fact, if that, if that section gets referred to, it is not... But if way, that section is a no, key it's, section it's, it's for use and investigation, where you, you think, say, any Sa critical Sambola, person Sambola for the user, Sambola. why don't them pick out now and just like market them? Well, 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 Sambola, well, you're getting... Go to market to the market the section. In fact, we are not marketing law. What we they do now, the fact, say, we they go on with the investigations, and when we go on with investigations, we are guided by law. It's not only that, for instance, let me say you want to bring somebody, you need to investigate somebody under Section 48, you know, not following procurement procedures, for instance. And then you realize, say, you look at the National um, Public Procurement Act, you realize, say, where the person go get, you know, where the person go to tender, where the person go to tender on a particular procurement, you go to tender, or you use a mode of, of, of um, procurement where acceptable. For heaven's sake, what would we be investigating? When, in, in essence, having looked at it, you know, you realize, say, what if you follow, you follow them. Now, when you not follow them, now you're a failure for follow procurement procedures, for instance. But then, when we actually they do investigations, 
note this and know it now going forward that we're actually mindful of the existing laws. Mm -hmm. Because if we are not mindful of the existing laws, we might just be running, you know, be going on a fishing expedition. And we don't go on a fishing expedition because of the people's money we they use for doing mm -hmm. investigations. So investigations are precise and they are targeted. Let's continue for the between the program still get Emmanuel via Amaya from the Anti-Corruption Commission. Um, they are this money for talk about the different corruption allegations them we they go on now and wait till the commission they do with regards to that. So now let me look at the other publication we um the Africanist West pool from the office for the office of um the chief minister from where the publication come out. What did the SEC don't do? Well um uh one Thank you very much. I want to let the people of Sierra Leone know and note very well, say, um, all of the publications with the African Express, the pool, like I don't say earlier, we actually appreciate them. But then these are issues we don't get dealt with in our audit reports. So it's pretty much like, you know, the publications are the prosaic form of the audit report findings. We're very good also because it's actually like, you know, makes them more prominent. But when I go know, as Sierra Leone and even people now within the um, studio here say, the Anti-Corruption Commission, especially under the administration of Francis Ben Kaifala, don't treat every audit report with the utmost seriousness with Sierra Leone, not ever see audit report get treated so before. In other words, every issue we get flagged by the audit report will relate to corruption. Of course, we include the within the African Express than the actual like now. Uh, publish well, like I said, they do, then they do a prosaic kind of presentation of within the the audit report. The anti-corruption commission either be done, either don't interrogate with them or go interrogate with, go interrogate the matters. So in regard the procurement issues, we get raised at the office of the chief minister. Like I say, before we actually, when we actually investigate, we actually get to make sure say we get a foundation on which we investigate. Now. So there's they no foundation in no. the African Express let, publication. Land, 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 land. I don't tell you, say the African Express, then publications, na a repetition, in a project well, na, na, na an enlargement, in the sense that, let us say, you write poem, but you can't forget explain the poem. You write more pages. So as a matter of fact, you know, um, that which comes in the audit report is in the, po is, is in the form of a poem. That which comes in the, in the, in the African Express, and like where they um, explain the poem. So they are much, pretty much the same thing. So in essence, they are not new. In essence, what I'm saying is that they are not new. So those issues, well, I'll land on this. When, for instance, when we want to investigate matter, we get forget the basis on which we investigate. When I say basis, you know, only they talk about the allegation as it is. Now, you have to ask yourself the question, now, under which law would they investigate this? Of course, the Anti-Corruption Commission gets right to investigate matters related to procurement. And the, the, office of the, the office of the chief minister, the issues raised by, um, by, by in the audit report regarding the office of the chief minister, these are all parts of the bundles that we are looking at. But, you know, let me understand this. Now, the other day I listened to um, Marcella, for instance, very brilliant lady, I would say, very passionate when it comes to issues, one time vice president, wife of student union, where we were in a college. But very frankly, I was disappointed at her lack of understanding you know, in relation to investigations, modules, and the Anti-Corruption Commission, when I listen to her on this radio. Because... So, we see now the thing we, we, so we, see, we make you go say no, this, and no, say no, you, no, you, you, no, you no, be disappointed no, in the lack Yeah, yeah, be, because, be, because, and I didn't already explain the module, the, 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 the part on which the commission they stand for actually doing investigations. Um, for instance, um, asthma, there couldn't be any domestic problems granted in a crime, the commission will get locals for actually investigate them. Understand? Not to every criminal issue the commission will investigate. The corruption will investigate. And even when we investigate corruption, we actually get to ask ourselves the question, now we investigate this matter, now under which particular law, which particular provision we will investigate them. So you will realize that until you understand that thing the day as an investigator of graft, you definitely go find it very difficult for just stand and they talk about investigations. Coming to your point, we are looking at everything that has been raised that relates to corruption in the audit report. And like I don't say, those things that the African Express they put out actually already in the audit report, and we are interrogating them. Mr. Amara, the, the concern from that one day, now like if you look um, the 
one we get for do with the coronavirus, um, when they talk about brand, about the generator and all, we obviously the commissioner don't come and talk say no, this na mistake then we make by this certain generator. He did, but if we want, we can go back and see see this generator actually did. Many people learn C and C. The commissioner quick for come and respond to some of the issue then they and maybe when the issue of the audit come out, then then more or less been the be the been the talent for battle for supremacy. So the issue about the 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 issue about the specification of that um, generator the still no come out it. So of course. Um, you say the commission quick for, for the commissioner. For certain, the commissioner quick for response for certain. The commissioner of the anti-corruption commission and the commissioner like they respond to anything and everything we get for root corruption. One example, I mean, now we are seeing All right, now corruption. I talk about the work we do. But now, but, but now, we now, make now, post now people and then, then quick Lacan, for Lacan, we Lacan. make people and quick for Brandon. We, if you look at the issue we deal with the chief minister, at that first point we that journalist being make a publication, it been quick for talk, as against even the post we get in problem. We make people and say they are the defense. No. They, they, let, let me understand. Well, you see, now this are the talk about, you know, investigations. The commissioner never speaks if he's not conclusive on an investigative point. When the issue of the chief minister been come up, and of course that issue came up, not even by way of report to us. When it come up, what did we do? A particular bank be named. And come to think about it, if we go for start investigations, now that bank now they will start. We go to the bank street, we send a notice to the bank straight away, under the hand of the commissioner. The bank reply, say, in fact, the chief minister not get account day, he hold um, um, a, credit, a, um, um, a credit card with zero balance, we don't ever get charged. So tell me for heaven's sake. This is where understanding investigation comes in. You go to us, then they say, you, you watch the laws. Then there's a lot, hey, what's the guy say today, you watch the laws. Then you go to the draw, you notice say you watch the day. You get for ask anybody question, you get for call you begin never ask a question. No way. The fact is, for then you actually call a suspect in an investigation for interview him, you get for do a lot of groundwork. And when you do your groundwork, if you don't get reason for column, there are many investigations we they do with, with in, um, allegations we they respond we, we they look into by way of investigation. We never even get to talk to the people. Right. It just happened say the chief minister and you in that case, that's the first. But when well, like I'm out. But then let, let me make this clear. This one now way the, the audit reports don't talk about. And kudos to audit service Sierra Leone. Working very well. Because they are actually like, you know, helping the work in the governance space. This one gets to do procurement. And it involves interrogating processes. So oh. not to you know you know you know you know we're able to do them as swiftly as it will happen in that other matter. This one, you get to ask for documents, you get to look at them, you get to interview persons first, you get to take statements from witnesses before you can actually come out with a position wow. as to whether we need for talk to who is named as suspect or not. So it is different. And as there are investigations, as there are complaints, so are they, are they different. Right. And every Mr. different investigation will be approached in a different way. Mr. So you have to understand the framework, otherwise you miss it out. All right, Mr. Kwevaya, yes. the SCC don't begin to indict people lame um, with regards to the the audit report and then parliament intervene inside the um so almost people when i don't invite after that um particular incident they apart from the laptop and bluetooth issue um as far you go realize say we don't pull serial press releases on what do they do with audit reports and how we don't go for instance we don't integrate the issues we get for do the university of sierra leone we don't even talk about money we don't give or loan we, you know, not being daddy, as the audit report being picked up. We don't investigate that day, we don't come back to the people of Sierra Leone. We don't go to the issue of NASIT, we don't come back to the people of Sierra Leone by way of um, 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 press release. We don't, we don't interrogate a number of issues, a number of them, including the NRA, we don't interrogate the NRA, and that one day we don't charge to court. So every issue will be flag. Remember in that audit, in that audit report. So from where Parliament is top now, after um, on the audit report, where they come in. Almost possible, I don't invite, no, no, apart no, no. from the, the, um, the one that we get for doing the laptop. No, in the, in the first place, Parliament not ever stop. Well, they intervene. Intervene into what? The, the, I don't understand. The 
public account committee in a parliament. The public account committee, we for no say as per the provision of the constitution and the primacy for actually look at audit report. Yes. We will get responsibility for vet corruption. So if, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it coincides, say, what will they look at? We don't get picked up in the audit report. That does not give anybody the mandate for actually stop it. One thing we're very sure of parliament, you know, they know their role as much as we self know we go. We they na the na the na the integrity space, within the um, governance space, everybody don't enroll. So for instance, let we say um um Mr. X don't thief two billion loans na na X ministry. Anti corruption commission they look at them, we they look at them. Then where audits go, he pick them, he put them na the audit report. We are not going to stop our investigations because that matter has been put in the audit report. No way. And remember, when we actually get information for investigation, we can get that from any angle. That is why the last thing I come now I tell them I say we don't look into audit reports until they are finalized. We look at audit reports. All right. So as a matter of fact, Parliament never ever really tell me for stop and we are doing what we must be doing. Okay. So there is no conflict, there is no clash. So they bring this edition of the program come to you. This Tuesday morning, Minas Majims. I mean I'm Michael Sambula. The program you listen to now, good morning, Salo, they come to you live from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. Of course, um, today, the Anti-Corruption Commission, they respond about waiting and think about the public perception and the way out and the fed corruption. And we get the operations coordinator for the ACC, Emmanuel Kweiro Amara. You don't, they, you don't they tell me about the, the, the different method and the way out and the go. For fed corruption but but stay now never for tell you about the state of the investigation here um with the like the high profile investigation um as might be the actually about the chief minister the official and the investigator but when i not come it to the public and when i don't pull body um first lady but till now updates not come it from the public for the public know the stage on are they now all right um of course, when we commence investigations, we get business for report to the people of Sierra Leone. It's part of our strategy now. Mindful of the fact, say, you know, we answerable to the people of Sierra Leone. Now that make you can see we did all them press releases in there. And of course, you could not say every time as we investigations they progress, we are actually at the top bottom. For instance, like you know, the office of the first lady, we don't commence investigations. We are analyzing documents, and in in we analysis, we don't really find out. In fact, we are we are grounded in. The, we are grounded in waiting we say we they do in the sense that we don't really see heavy inflows of money they go to the office of the first lady from for instance 2016 alone 2016 2017 alone over two hundred thousand dollars go to the office of the first lady of course the current first lady said don't they receive money so we are investigating all of those and now we do we analyze documents in, in, like i say investigations and process we don't we don't we don't call for, for documents them we they analyze them, and if need be, we they call for more documents. Of course, we get the powers by the Act, sections 56 and 57, 57 for look at that one in the. So that, that is the only way they go there on the public phone. That's where they go there. Well, that is what the investigation is trying to actually, you know, um, um, on earth. So I just tell you the stage at which you day in the investigations right now. Don't worry, you don't, you don't need for the in hurry. When we actually get there, I mean, when we progress deeper into the investigations, we'll get to come back to the people of Sierra Leone through this medium or other medium, and tell them how far we they go. Of course, it's the same with the procurement irregularities as alleged, you know, what they look at in the office of the chief minister. We actually they, they don't send for documents them, we do analysis of them documents and they very clearly. But then, um, like I say, a number of investigations don't be done in recent times. So like, you know, when we talk about issues of investigating your, we as a commission will look at past, present, and future. When I remember, say, for instance, we don't investigate, you know, the state chief of protocol under the um, Ben Kaifala administration, and we come to the people of Sierra Leone, we tell them what's going to be the outcome. We then investigate SLMA, we shall recover over 200 million loans. The Sierra Leone Maritime um, 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 Association, we don't, of course, we don't investigate Civil Aviation Authority. That one day we don't even charge to court. We don't investigate the Ministry of Information and Communication officials in that ministry. Remember, we went to court, the COI money, remember, we pulled and pulled over 200 million and just um, um, misappropriate them. We went to court, we secured conviction, they appealed, and we also have won the appeal. Now they serve a mandatory um, um, jail term of three, three years. 
with, with, the, with the current day investigates ETSA. It's a huge investigation. There are three layers. And of course, you know the kind of thing. You, we, you know, and the people of Sierra Leone know the kind of thing that they happen at ETSA. How could, we be sell, how could ETSA be selling electricity and cannot pay for electricity? I go to sell granite. If you don't make profits, I've let the money come on. So that you go for party granite and sell them back tomorrow. Then the other one, they now begin in the chairman at the port. That one did not go be the profit. So we are looking into that one. Of course, I'm not say we, 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 we are looking into a number of issues. A number of issues. And when we talk about perception, whereas we're mindful of the fact, say, of course, convictions, we're having convictions. We have been, we are, we are, we are being in court. We have, been, we have been charging matters to court and we have been having convictions. So, but in addition to that one day, we also get, you know, we forget, so we also get the prevention wing. We don't do enormous prevention interventions in our MDAs. We don't yield very good results. From the audit report, for instance, we we able to identify 44 prevention, you know, um, um, areas. We don't go in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. We don't do prevention day. We don't do prevention work day, systems and processes. And of course, the results are very, very glaring. We don't go in the Ministry of Local Government. And our staff are in many other MDAs doing prevention work with a view to ensuring that the cleavage is that, that the whole hold the way then they who say corruption, they actually balance, balance, and lock, lock them, then right. process it then they. And I want to take you briefly, maybe, I don't know, but I want to take you quick and maybe remind the people of Saralim because this one we all know. When you go to school, like, um, congratulations to you, boy. I, he, 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 today is his bad day. When you boy go to school, what's going to give you happiness for pay fees the other day and even increasing lunch? Now, the way we the pass exam, not so. That's the way he's actually graded. So Sierra Leone, in the fight against corruption, don't they pass exam both, both local and international. You remember Carl pulled them, 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 them survey, them perception survey. And you see the kind of hype, you see the kind of way where people of Sierra Leone, you know, perceive the fight against corruption as it is now. You go to the, you go to the TI, um, um, Transparency International, well, all the indices. You see the kind of way, they, oh, they joke. Sierra Leone, so they, in they, as much as uh, um, uh, Mr. Quiver, you go to the MCCU. MCC scorecard, for Mr. instance. Mr. No, no, not la, la, la land on this. Not land on this. Now, Sierra Leone, for the very first time, very first time in the history of the fight against corruption in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone don't become compact eligible. You know what they mean? That means so, to say, if you go out with the expectations, Sierra Leone, they get a grant of between 400 and 600 million dollars. In as much as soon as they take credit for all the. And this is the fight. No, well, we, we, we know they take credit as a commission, we take credit as a people right. of Sierra Leone. So, this is the fight of the people. Yes. You they, now they take credit um, as a people. Well, the country so take the credit. So now the same way, mm -hmm. back other people say, get their own view, say, the ACC, no, they really fit the way how they're supposed to fit. With all the revelations, the way they come out. The commission worry in any way? No, well, we, we, we are not worried. And we, we are not worried at all. We are merely, you know, um, we, we, we appreciate them views, and they, although they may be, you know, views way, the motivations maybe go be different. But let me make this, um, let me take this opportunity for send this message to politicians, na SLPP, APC, NGC, and all the parties in this country, politicians. No politician, no, the commission will allow any politician for weaponize them. So anyone you cannot weaponize, weaponize no, 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 the no, no, commission? No, no, no. You know, no, we, you I know, mean, you know, so that statement you know, you know, you know, so, you know, so, 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 so any of the you, political party don't you know, try for weaponizing. You know, say, you know, say, you know, you know, say, we get the preventive wing in the fight against corruption. Mm. So this one, na preventive stride. No, when I don't see party, coming. No political party. Anybody do no, attempt? No, come on, they will not. They, they, they will not, and they cannot, and they should right. not, and well, they well, must they not. And that is even why we are looking. We are telling them now, and we are reminding them that they must not, and no, they must not go. Close to that at all. All right, we'll look work. at a few yeah? messages then at the program. The first ones, and we will look at say, and why didn't the they name the businessman and the Nakova staff who are paying back in the laptop case as they did for the permanent secretary of Ministry of Health? Can't you use the prevailing laws as baseline instead of going back 14 years? A question where this text are they ask. It says the send up. The Singapore instructed them to stop looking at the report until they are finished with it. Yes, Ben was there, and he even asked why they went ahead to investigate before the committee started looking at the report. Let him tell us how many people they have invited or indicted since. Why the delay in bringing corrupt officials to book? Another message we'll go look at say it's so unfair, Mr. Koivaya. 
Marcella the other day was on the radio and she spoke so well. She asked questions that the ECC needs to answer. So what are you talking now this morning, Mr? How far has the ACC gone with the investigation of the current allegation of corruption? And message from Madam Marcella say, Mr. Amara cannot make a statement without qualifying it. What is the disappointed in? I ask questions uh, which needs answers. What is Mr. Amara disappointed at? Mr. ACC man, can you please tell us who is investigating the Anti-Corruption Commission? Another message said the anti-corruption too hyper in all of this, but we want to see tangible things that you've done, people you've indicted and then people you've prosecuted, taken to court, and the outcome is what we all expect. Okay, well, I'm this is the good now the Facebook page now, and from Albert Thomas, is see almost everyone in a salon look corrupt, even the common man on street. This one say, say, Mr. Amaya, calm down and explain to us exactly how many people you have indicted, especially in this current administration. From Joseph uh, Mike Kanun on Facebook, he said, ACC just running around the small boys. This is very funny. One after the big boys. Siddiq Mubarak Abubakar say, can the ACC tell me the meaning of future investigation? Because in his statement, he said the commission is there to look into past, present, and future. Um, yes, go ahead, Asma. Another message we'll go look at, say, until and unless the ACC begin for investigate from the Chernobyl's report, me, I doubt. From Kamara Mendy, now Facebook page, they say they are not fighting corruption. They are fighting the APC politicians. Another message we'll go look at say, say Mr. Quivaya, it's simple. The people of this country are beginning to lose interest in the ACC. What is the ACC doing? Please don't politicize my question because too many negatives on the internet about the ACC and their fight. From Mark Jalo on our Facebook page, it says we need special investigations to investigate the Anti-Corruption Commission about credibility of their work. ACC is doing a good job. Keep it up in salon. When you run after corrupt people, you become public enemy number one. Honestly, the current ACC is doing well in the fight against massive corruption in the country. Um, this other message we'll go look at say why they are proud of grants instead of looking into what salon can offer to the world. Example, just the Atlantic Beach that can bring millions of dollars into the coffers. See yeah, Logan on Facebook. Um, the final one we'll go um, read for now. Now this one where they say, Mr. SEC man, your commissioner seems very, very much in relationship with all of these guys. It is very much impossible for him to indict anyone in this administration. Mr. Quevaya, perception very important too because my all the international body we don't use for its salon. If the people of Sierra Leone are happy, are not happy and questioning the ACC, I think as a commission you should sit back and re strategize on your ways how you investigate and indict people and also bring out the facts. And the last one on the generator issue. It is only fair that we note that even the Chinese embassy has confirmed that they made a mistake with the specification of the generators. Well, over to you, Mr. Kweva. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the marathon of this Yes, I'll system. tell you. Um, thank you very much. Um, I thank all the text as them. Of course, as the show say, people get keen interest in issues related to the weed corruption. Without wasting much time, I'll go straight to answering the questions. The first person asked the question, say, why we not name the businessman and the knuckleback staff them? Now we will realize, say, we're still in an emergency. A very brilliant thing that audit service, you know, actually punch in why is the emergency still there on. But as a commission, we also want to make sure, say, when we do we work, we know how to disrupt for instance, if we investigate, um, if if we get low cost, but we don't set an example. If we if we get low cost for investigate um, 
where would they investigate 98.1? One for make sure say the Good Morning Salon program continue for go because the people them they listen to them every day and the programs them way the people them get interested in continue for go. But the question so this is the I reason. Now this, the question I have is you wanna name another person in the Ministry of Health because because, because, because that, that that could not that could not be disrupted. That could not disrupt anything. But then taking certain steps will disrupt certain things. However, one for them wanna know for say these investigations are still very active. That they've paid back does not mean the investigations have closed. They are still very active. So, when we come to the end of the investigation, definitely all the names that we need for come out will come out. Dana, Dana, Dana. It's a, um, somebody asked why we we'll not use prevailing laws? Why would they go back? So, if we talk about prevailing laws, now we talk about the Anti-Corruption Act, for instance, which was enacted in 2000, amended in 2002, repealed and replaced in 2008. Now, the laws... We say the laws now, what do you mean? You mean the law as at today, the law as at yesterday? No. You actually get to get a baseline in certain matters for actually able to give you the scope or the ability for reach your conclusion and reach them logically and acceptably. So that is why we are doing what we are doing. We are not doing what we are doing because of that kind of thing. Is the Senate portal laws to stop? Well, I was in Parliament with the Commissioner the deputy speaker did not tell the commission or the commissioner to stop investigations. In fact, to quote him, he say, "When I can go ahead with my work, when I only not refer to audit report, which makes a lot of sense and which shows that we all know what thing we do and all man know the whole way they do." He say, "Why the delay in bringing people to book? Come on, them matters we're going to conclude in jet speed with the conclude in jet speed. Sometimes investigations can take time." Realistically, and that is why every moment we try for actually, you know, um, um, tell the people of Sierra Leone what thing they do. All right, um, say Marcella spoke well, yeah, of course, Marcella always speaks well. Marcella, I, I told you she's a very brilliant person, so I don't doubt it. But the fact of the matter is that you know, in a, like some kind of entity in a watchdog at the integrity space, if there are issues, for instance, there are media, we get other media, them or other channels of communication way preferred and better and more effective than coming to sit on the radio. I'll tell you for certain, so it's all of us, all of, no, well, um, when you want to really do effective communication, if, uh, for, if for any reason, I have to like, you know, um, effectively communicate with 98.1 on issues one for C reform. Definitely, I know you sit on our SLBC, I mean, it's okay. they come to you, yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you the issue. point. Of course, this it's, a, it's a national issue. This will oh, talk oh, about oh, national issue. Fine. And she was invited here Good. and asked about and, the and questions. This, and, and, and then are, and these are, to the and, 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 th and those are issues she had conceived. And she had had the opportunity to even communicate. Of course, you get the commissioner number to communicate with the commissioner. But even if it's talking on the radio, so there is, not not listen there is nothing wrong. But the fundamental thing is that, realistically, if she had engaged the commissioner, very frankly, in position on especially the issues relating to corruption would be different because then she would have had an opportunity to be told how investigations are done and why they are done the way they so are done. So everybody will get anyway. the commissioner in number for good. No, that, not, not necessarily. Remember, I, pref I preface our fact say, na in na integrity, um, um, na watchdog, in right. entity na watchdog na the integrity space. Okay. So that is it. You say, um, how far with investigations? Of course, investigations are progressing. A number of investigations, I don't talk about Naya and Usaid and the go. They say, who investigates the ACC? The people where they investigate the ACC, then Boku pass the one the way ACC they investigate. In the sense that the people of Sierra Leone, including 98.1, including the texter, you are all investigators for the ACC. To the extent that if you see an ACC officer, for instance, involved in anything that is untoward, you get every business for bringing up by any means. So, the people where they investigate the ACC, the police, them, where the police, the police, then Boku pass the one the way the ACC, you know, then Boku pass the ACC where the police, the people. So that's the kind of thing. You're talking about tangible um, things. What can be more tangible than actually recouping over $2 million, in fact, two point, nearly $3 million, and put it into the Consolidated Revenue Fund for use? What can be more tangible? What can be more tangible than actually going and stopping those cleavages? What can be more tangible than swinging in? Look, for instance, the, the bloggers. The bloggers, what happened to them at Jendema? In less, than four, in less than 24 hours, the ACC was able to intervene and redeem the image of the, of the, of the country. Uh. What can be more tangible than that? What can be more tangible than the fact that I am going to court after here to do prosecution of an anti-corruption matter? What can be more tangible than the convictions that we are having? What can be more tangible? So, when you talk about tangibles, the tangibles are too tangible not to be seen. There's so many money Everyone, on our collection because we get many out of court settlement. 
pass any well, well, other well, SEC. Well, maybe maybe we'll leave that one day for another day. But the best way for pet corruption, really, don't prove, say, not to just conviction or go into court. The people, the country need the money. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the questions are too many. It's, I don't know if I get it more. Um, um, oh, um, more they wrap up now, yeah, but also they... the one that we, um, um, you know, get small mm -hmm. confidence issue about this. All right, now, now of course, this, somebody talk about the fact, say, perception matter. If perception only matter, we just go to do it with the room at the corner, we know they can talk to people. Now, because we're mindful of the fact that perception matter, now make we come and talk to the people of Sierra Leone. And let me tell you something. Even tomorrow, the commissioner is going out to meet the people. And before the close of this day, there is another good news for Sierra Leone. We've oh. been in the air. All right. Well, Sit we... tight and receive that one. Many thanks to you, Emmanuel Kwevaya Amara from the Anti-Corruption Commission. We will come and talk about um, the ACC and, work and the many questions we people don't they ask. Well, now Michael Sambola and mm. Alex Lawrence Koma produced the program. And now DJ Lava, the technical support, Moses Kevua and Usman Kamara. Now they make Kunawachi live on Facebook.